A lot of parents do what I do. You give your kids the tablet or the phone to watch TV or play games. But here are some ways to make that tablet time safer and more kid friendly. First up, you're gonna wanna lock it down. Before your child even touches your tablet or your phone, make sure they're not gonna see anything that they shouldn't see, and then make sure that they can't go spending your money downloading a bunch of new apps or getting tricked into in-app purchases. Talking about new lives in Candy Crush? You can do it, but they should not. For Android, there are actually a lot of parental control apps out there. I like Kids Place. It's free, and it lets you choose which apps your child is allowed to see when the app is running. Plus, you need a passcode to make any changes, which is key. Don't tell your kid the passcode. It also locks out calling and messaging, and I love this. There's a timer so that you can specify how long your child is allowed to have tablet or phone time, and when the time is up, it turns off. Make the gadget be the bad guy, not you. Now on the iPad, there aren't as many apps available, but the iPad has a lot of built-in restrictions. If you go to settings and then general, you'll see a whole section called restrictions. Once you turn that on, you're prompted to set up a passcode, again, that you don't want to tell your child about. At that point, you can specify what your kid is allowed to look at. You can restrict surfing, specific applications. You can set a rating on iTunes, only PG&G movies. Sorry, buddy, no good stuff for you. Then under accessibility in the general settings, there's something called guided access. This will actually restrict everything except for one app on the tablet. And that is great for little kids who are always exiting out, or if you want to make sure that your child is actually using that educational app that you installed. Sadly, there is no built-in timer in Apple's parental restrictions because why would they want you to stop watching iPad? If you want your child to stop watching iPad, I recommend Parental Time Lock. It's in the App Store for $1.99. Trust me, it is worth it. Now on to the apps. My son's favorite app for watching television is Netflix, and I also love it because it finally has profiles built in. You can specify the age of a profile, which means that your feed won't get full up of Ninjago and they won't find out that you're watching Orange is the New Black. YouTube is another favorite video app. You do want to make sure though that safe search filters are on because there are some bad things on YouTube. You can find those over here in the settings. Settings, safe search filtering, strict. I feel better already. Finally, make sure you buy the right tablet for your family. I know the iPad seems like the obvious choice and it gets a lot of the apps first, but check out the Kindle Fire. It has multiple user sign-in built in and Amazon has a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads of kid-friendly apps, videos, and best of all, books. Because every parent knows TV is fine, but books are better. Oh, and you might want to get yourself some of these. Books are better. All right, and, oh, all right, I don't know. All right, next, books are better. All right, uh, what the what? All right, I'm out.